the next question is from RBI grade B officers exam you know RBI grade B exam is one of the toughest examination here we have four questions which are telescoped one upon each other so we have to solve uh, all the four and each is dependent on the other let us see the question Trisha starts walking from A from A she starts walking from A she walks 12 meter to south and reaches point B she walks 12 meters to south and reaches point B that is B point B she then takes a left turn and walks 7 meter to reach point C she takes a left turn 7 meters to reach point C she then takes a left turn and walks 5 meter Five meters point C this is point C and then she then takes a left turn and walks 5 meter and reaches point D so this is point D from point D she turns left and walks 11 meter She walks 11 meter and stops at point E. So this is 4, this is 7 and this is 5. This whole thing is 12. She stops at point E. Okay. Point P is to the west of point B point P is to the west of point B where what is the distance it is not given we only know it is in this line point P is in this line Rishi who is standing at P walks for a distance equal to the shortest distance between B and E B and E what is the shortest distance shortest distance is the hypotenuse this is the rectangle triangle with the two sides 4 meter and 5 meter and what is the distance between shortest distance between B and E B E square is equal to 4 square plus 5 square is equal to 16 plus 25 is equal to 41 B E is equal to root of 41 is equal to 6.4 so this is 6.4 Rishi who is standing at point P walks for a distance equal to the shortest distance between B and E that is he walks for 6.4 meters and reaches point Q from Q he takes a left turn and walks for a certain distance to reach point E from he he this is Q so here is P P which is 6.4 so now it will be clear point P is to the is to the west of B yes Rishi who is standing at point P walks for a distance of 6.4 meter and reaches point Q from Q he takes a left turn and reaches point E so this is what is the basic data given so this is 5 now what is the first question the first question it has additional data 
Mohul starts walking towards the south from point B. He starts south from point B for a certain distance to reach point K. So he walks for a certain distance to reach point K. He then takes a left turn and walks for 10 meters. He walks for 10 meters. Takes another left turn and stops after walking for 9 meter. If his final position is 3 meter to the east of point D, his final position is 3 meter to the east of point D, this is 9 meter. He reaches this point which is to the east of point D. What is the now what is the question? What is the distance between B and K? Now what is the distance between B and K? That is the question. Now we know this distance is is equal to 9 meter and we know this distance is equal to 5 meter therefore the answer is Nine meter minus five meter is equal to four meter. The distance between B and K is four meter. Let us verify the answer slide. Yes, the answer is four meter. Let us verify the map slide. Yeah. Map slide also corresponds to what we have drawn. So the answer to this question is option A 4 meters. Next question is point M is this also has data point M is 9 meter to the north of point Q. Where is point Q? Q is here. Point M is 9 meter to the north of point Q. So, here is point Q, point M. This is 4 meter. From M, which of the following walking directions would lead to point A? From M, we have to go to point A. That is what is asked in which direction and how much distance we have to walk. So first it says 12 meter towards west. No. The option A is wrong. Option B, 4 meters towards east. No. Wrong. Option C, 3 meters towards north. Turn left. No. 3 meters towards north. If you turn left then it will go here. You will not go to E. A. Then option D is 3 meters towards north, then turn right and walk 4 meter. Yes. This is 4 meters and this is 12 minus this portion is 7 meters. So from 4, if you walk north, from M if you walk north for 3 meters, then take a right turn, that is option T, 3 meters towards north, then right turn and walk for 4 meters. This is 4 meter, this is 3 meter, then you will reach A. So option D is correct. Because from here you have to walk north 3 meters and then take a right turn, take a right turn and walk 4 meter, you will reach point X. So Option D is the correct answer. Let us verify the answer slide. Yes, option D is the correct answer. Let us see the map slide. Yes, map slide also corresponds to what we have drawn. 3 meter and 4 meter. Now the next question is in which of the direction is point C with reference to point P? 
P. Where is point P? Point P is here. Point C is here. So in which of the direction is point C with respect to point P? Obviously the answer is east. Let us verify the answer slide. Yes, the answer is east. Option C, east. The map slide also confirms this. Now let us go to the next question. The next question is, point Z is 9 meter to the east of point A. To the east of point A. Point A is here. It is 9 meter. This is point Z. Arun starts from point Z, walks towards south, takes a right turn and walks for a certain distance to reach point D. So Arun starts walking from here. He reaches this point and this is D. This is D actually. He takes a right turn and reaches point D. Now this is from this point to this point is 3 meters. Now here this is 9 meter because A to Z point Z is 9 meter to the east of point A. This is 10 meters. So 10 minus 9, 1 meter. This is 1 meter and this is 2 meter. And this is 7 meters. Because you can see from here, it is 7 meters. So Arun starts from point Z, comes south, walks towards the south, takes a right turn, walks for a certain and finally reaches D. That means uh, he has reached a point here and then takes a right turn. And this distance is 7 meter as we have already calculated. And this distance is, this is 7 plus 3, 10 out of this 9, less 9, then this is 1 meter, this distance is 1 meter and this distance is 2 meters. Now what is the question? What is the total distance that Arun has to walk in order to reach point D. What is the total distance? From here he will walk 7, 7 meter. From here he will walk 2. So 7 plus 2. Seven plus 2 is equal to 9 meter. So Arun has to walk 7 plus 2, 9 meter to reach point D. So answer is option D, 9 meter. Let us check up. The answer, as per the answer slide is 9 meter. Now let us check up this with the map slide. Map slide also has drawn the picture in the same manner we have drawn. This is a typical example of RBI grade B exam. As you can see for yourself, this is a very complex question and there are four questions which are uh, piggy-pagging upon each other and each question has got data by itself and one has to be very careful in drawing the directions as well as the distances so that you will be able to arrive at the answers that are required.